Hey everybody, uh, so in this video I just wanted to uh, talk through setting up uh, some uh, gesture handlers in Ionic 4. Uh, by default, you know, we can listen to things like click events, uh, but in, say, Ionic 3, we could also set up some listeners for things like uh, press events or swipes or pans uh, and other things like that. And so in Ionic 3, they were relying on Hammer.js for a lot of the gesture stuff. And this was available uh, globally. You could access it on the window object. So what Ionic was using for some of their own gestures, you could actually just use yourself as well to create uh, your own uh, gestures and listen to some different types of gestures like pans and swipes and things like that. Uh, so in Ionic 4, things are handled a little bit differently. Uh, Ionic now has its own sort of custom gesture controller that they're using to handle uh, various gestures required for uh, just the normal running of an Ionic application. So things like uh, how you can swipe the menu open and things like that. Obviously there's uh, some gestures involved in that and that needs to be handled. Uh, but we don't have that inbuilt, I guess, support now for things like the Hammer.js gestures where we have uh, presses and pans and swipes and things like that. So in this video, I just want to walk through the basics behind setting Hammer.js up in your application so that you can still uh, listen to those kinds of gestures and it's actually a pretty straightforward process. So we're just going to walk through doing that. So as you can see on screen now, I just have a couple of uh, examples. Uh, if you haven't used these gestures before, maybe you aren't uh, sure what they are. Uh, so we have things here like uh, the press uh, gesture, which I've set up on this card here. So if I just, uh, if I click that, uh, nothing's going to happen uh, as it would if I had a normal click event on it. Uh, but if I click and hold, I get the press gesture uh, triggering. And you can see in the consoles, uh, here I have a press being logged out. Uh, and also we have the pan gesture here. And uh, basically that just lets us pan, we hold down, we click and hold, and then drag left or right. And this one doesn't actually work by default. And the default configuration doesn't allow uh, vertical panning. Uh, so we're going to talk about how to actually set that up uh, with Hammer.js as well. And then I've just got an example of a swipe uh, gesture here. So if I swipe to the left or to the right, it's going to trigger that swipe uh, gesture. So you can see a list of all the gestures and configurations available uh, This in the documentation for Hammer.js. You can find all the recognizers down here. And if we go into the uh, pan, for example, uh, you can see we can supply a direction to the pan. So by default, that's set to uh, just horizontal panning. So if we want vertical panning, we either need to set it to direction vertical or direction all. And that's something we're going to talk about how to do because it's a little bit more difficult than just the default configuration. So basically all we need to do if we want to set up uh, Hammer.js in our Ionic application, this is an Ionic 4 application, uh, you'll just need to run npm install uh, save and then Hammer.js. I've already installed that so I won't do it again, but just run that command and that's going to install that for you. And then all you need to do is just jump into your code. And if you just import hammer.js in your main.ts file, uh, that's going to set up hammer in your application and you'll be able to access all of those gestures. So I've set up some in my homepage here, the three we just went through. Uh, so you'll be able to add press, pan, uh, swipe, and any of the other gestures that hammer.js provides. All you need to do is just set up an, a, an event handler like normal here, and that's going to pass that through to whatever uh, function you have defined. Uh, but as I mentioned, some of these do require some additional configuration. If I wanted to listen for vertical pan events, this wouldn't work. Uh, so what we can do is supply some additional configuration in our app.module.ts file. And so Angular actually integrates quite nicely with, uh, with Hammer. Uh, so they provide this uh, Hammer gesture config that we can supply. And so basically what we need to do is supply our own custom config uh, in the providers down here. So you'll just provide that hammer gesture config and just use uh, your own config uh, instead. And so to set that up, all we need to do is we'll first import uh, from hammer.js so we can access the uh, directions that we want. But basically we just create a class here. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't have to be called custom uh, hammer config. 
And so you always extend the hammer gesture config, which is being imported from the Angular platform browser. And then you just supply this overrides object here to say, or to provide what uh, the configurations that you want for each uh, gesture. So what we want in this case, if we want to be able to pan in all directions rather than just the horizontal direction uh, with our pan gesture, we just supply the option, the direction uh, option here and then supply hammer.direction underscore all. Or if we wanted to do just vertical, we do direction underscore vertical. And so these are just the same configuration options that are in uh, here. So you can just look through the normal hammer JS documentation if you want to uh, figure out what uh, in what ways you can configure this. So with that set up and then us providing our own class as the hammer gesture config, uh, we'll be able to save and serve that. And then we should be able to now pan in all directions on that uh, pan event here. So I'll just jump back into the browser again. I have to reserve that application. I'll just give it a test and make sure that all works. Okay, so I've got the application up again now and let's just try out that pan or pan in a vertical direction now. And as you can see, I have those uh, pan events being logged out in the console there. So we can actually scroll or pan both uh, horizontally and vertically now. Okay, so that's the basics behind getting those hammer JS gestures set up in your Ionic 4 application. Uh, I think the main idea behind Ionic not including this by default now is obviously they're not making any use of it and they want to keep the bundle size down as much as possible. So uh, a lot of people, maybe even probably most people won't actually make use of uh, these various gestures in their Ionic applications. So uh, it does make sense not to include it by default for everybody when it might not be used. And it is uh, at least reasonably simple to get this set up and configured uh, manually. So uh, if you are looking into how to do these gestures. I hope this video uh, was helpful. Uh, if you did like it, as always, please do feel free to leave a like or subscribe and I'll see you again in the next video.